11 High Carb Foods You Should Avoid in Your Daily Diet A low-carb diet can help you lose weight and control diabetes and other conditions. Some high-carb foods obviously need to be avoided, such as sugar-sweetened beverages, cake, and candy. Yet, figuring out which staple foods to limit is more challenging. Some of these foods are even relatively healthy just unsuitable for a low-carb diet due to their high number of carbs. Your total daily carb target determines whether you need to limit some of these foods or avoid them altogether. Low-carb diets typically contain 20 to 100 grams of carbs per day, based on personal tolerance. Here are 11 foods to avoid or limit on a low-carb diet. 1. Pasta. Pasta is a versatile and inexpensive staple but very high in carbs. One cup of cooked pasta contains 43 grams of carbs, only three of which are fiber. The same amount of whole wheat pasta is only a slightly better option at 37 grams of carbs, including 6 grams of fiber. On a low-carb diet, eating spaghetti or other types of pasta isn't a good idea unless you consume a very small portion, which isn't realistic for most people. 2. Sweetened yogurt. Yogurt is a tasty, versatile food. Although plain yogurt is fairly low in carbs, many people tend to eat fruit-flavored, sweetened low-fat or non-fat yogurt. Sweetened yogurt often contains as many carbs as a dessert. 245 grams of non-fat sweetened fruit yogurt can have up to 47 grams of carbs, which is even higher than a comparable serving of ice cream. 3. Bread and grains. Bread is a staple food in many cultures. It comes in various forms, including loaves, rolls, bagels, and flatbreads, such as tortillas. However, all of these are high in carbs. This is true for whole grain varieties as well as those made from refined flour. Although carb counts vary based on ingredients and portion sizes, here are the average counts for popular breads. White bread, 1 slice, 14 grams of carbs, one of which is fiber whole wheat bread, 1 slice, 17 grams of carbs, two of which are fiber flour tortilla, 10 inch, 36 grams of carbs, two of which are fiber. Depending on your personal carb tolerance, eating a sandwich, burrito, or bagel could put you near or over your daily limit. 4. Starchy vegetables. Most diets allow an unlimited intake of low starch vegetables. Many vegetables are very high in fiber, which can aid weight loss and blood sugar control. However, some high starch vegetables contain more digestible carbs than fiber and should be limited on a low carb diet. Avoid these starchy vegetables altogether corn, potato, sweet potato, beets, cooked. 5. Beer. Alcohol can be enjoyed in moderation on a low carb diet. In fact, dry wine has very few carbs and hard liquor none. However, beer is fairly high in carbs. 356 m can of beer packs 13 grams of carbs, on average. Even light beer contains 6 grams per can. 6. Beans and legumes. Beans and legumes are nutritious foods. They can provide many health benefits, including reduced inflammation and heart disease risk. Although high in fiber, they also contain a fair amount of carbs. Depending on personal tolerance, you may be able to include small amounts on a low-carb diet. 7. Honey or sugar in any form. You're probably well aware that foods high in sugar, such as cookies, candy, and cake, are off-limits on a low-carb diet. However, you may not realize that natural forms of sugar can have as many carbs as white sugar. In fact, many of them are even higher in carbs when measured in tablespoons. 8. Chips and crackers. Chips and crackers are popular snack foods, but their carbs can add up quickly. One ounce of tortilla chips contains 18 grams of carbs, only one of which is fiber. This is about 10 to 15 average sized chips. Crackers vary in carb content depending on processing. However, even whole wheat crackers contain about 19 grams of carbs per one ounce, including 3 grams of fiber. Processed snack foods are typically consumed in large quantities within a short period of time. It's best to avoid them, especially if you're on a carb-restricted diet. 9. Milk. Milk is an excellent source of several nutrients, including calcium, potassium, and several B vitamins. However, it's also fairly high in carbs. Whole milk offers the same 12 to 13 grams of carbs per 240 milliliters as low-fat and fat-free varieties. If you're only using a tablespoon or two 15 to 30 milliliters in coffee once a day, 
you may be able to include small amounts of milk in your low-carb diet. 10. Some fruit. A high intake of fruits and vegetables has consistently been linked to a lower risk of cancer and heart disease. However, many fruits are high in carbs and may not be suitable for low-carb diets. A typical serving of fruit is one cup or one small piece. For instance, a small apple contains 21 grams of carbs, four of which come from fiber. On a very low-carb diet, it's probably a good idea to avoid some fruits, especially sweet and dried fruits, which have high carb counts, banana, raisins, dates, mango. 11. Low-fat and fat-free salad dressings. A wide variety of salads can be enjoyed regularly on a low-carb diet. However, commercial dressings, especially low-fat and fat-free varieties, often end up adding more carbs than you might expect. For example, two tablespoons of fat-free French dressing contain 10 grams of carbs. An equal portion of fat-free ranch dressing has 11 grams of carbs. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video hit like, share and make sure to subscribe, health tutor, because more incredible content on the way.